Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode today on William Candy 45. Today we'll be doing round 11, round 12 actually, episode 11 for today's episode of career mode. Of course we were in the Red Bull here and it is time for Hungary. We have qualified P10 after a good qualifying I'd say. Doing a good job of course, there's the camera on just looking at us. So it's all doing good, you know. So yeah, hopefully we can do a good job here. I mean, you know, the McLarens have locked out the front row of the grid here, so it's it's looking good for them. And if we want to even challenge them to stay in P3 in the championship, then we need to at least get up to their level. Because qualifying P3 in Hungary, where we thought we'd be strong downforce-wise, is not too good. But anyway, anyway guys, it's a sprint race today. <coughs> Go, please. You know. <laughs> Today, so it's going to be very good. Of course, nice, nice, nice. Um, I hope you are enjoying your day, everyone. Um, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I hope you stay tuned for more of this kind of content. I've got loads of F1 things, Lego, everything. So, and I hope you enjoyed that sister played Mario Kart. F1 2019, that was very cool. So yeah, stay tuned for more of this content. If you want to go watch the, my recent F1 2019 career mode videos, then do do on my channel, William Candy 45 So let's get racing. P10 on the grid. We're P3 in the championship. Let's see if we can upgrade on our place. Let's go. Here we go then, guys. Let's go to the race. Here we go. Life Center, where are we going now for the start of the Grand Prix? It's a good, okay start. We are the third fastest team power-wise now. But as you can see, we're getting absolutely swamped by almost everyone here. But we're going to go for a dive bomb up the inside of nearly everyone here. We're down to P11, which isn't too confident as our teammate absolutely barges his way past us. But we're going to try and go around the outside of Giovinazzi. And can we get it done? Oh, we're going to try it. Yes, we do. We get the move done. Let's have a look at that again, guys. Here's the start then, we get a little bit of a bash from our teammate there, coming down towards turn three. And we absolutely swoop around the racing point with absolute ease and bravery here. And we've got it done there in the end. He has to kind of back out there, but what a move in the end. Leclerc's leading the way, he did a dominant qualifying session. And it's too wide, coming into, coming into thing in a bit. And that gives us the opportunity to try and make a move on Sebastian Vettel. And you know what, we've got it done up into P9. He got caught out there after running on the curb, but he's... Was that Giovinazzi trying Where to get his back? Giovinazzi absolutely went for an absolute lunge there. But he just couldn't get it done. And now we need to try and stay with Devin Butler. Remember, he's in P4 on the championship. So if we can get ahead of him, then that'd be a great job for us. Especially for the championship. Here we go now. This is the section where the Rebels are a little bit weak, guys. But hopefully we can stay in this DRS zone of them. We've got some straight line speed. And hopefully, though, we can stay with them okay, here. Okay, you're in the top ten. But Vettel is dropping back a little bit. Coming down to turn one for the first time. Second time, actually. The two Hasses have done a good job this weekend, guys. They haven't really showed some showed their skill here. And the reason why the racing points are so far back is because their their power were kind of weak this section of the track and he's gaining a little bit of time on us but we now come into this speedy section of the racetrack a little bit ragged from us now and butler's kind of getting away a little bit which isn't isn't too positive but it's all okay this is when we can gain our time but of course hungary a very tough track to overtake battery charge is high let's increase ers deployment to up the pace surprised we didn't get a warning for that guys but let's up the battery a little bit of course, it's a nice sprint race, this one, so it's all pushing as hard as we can, guys, to stay in a bit. Because we are allowed to up the battery, knowing that it's just a sprint race. But anyway, coming into this corner, and this is when the Rebels are a little bit strong, but this is the section where the other cars gain, as I said last lap, but we're still there. Coming on to lap three this lap, this is DRS territory, which is good, good, thankful for, the, for us. And the pack's kind of not really spreading out too much. Okay, entering lap three now. DRS has been enabled. See how weak we are on the straight. We are the third best team straight line speed-wise. We're not really able to do much here, guys, but P9 anyway. 
passing vettels hounding us so it's very interesting how we're not able to stay with the ferrari who's one of the slowest cars on the straight which is a little bit hard to hard to comprehend so we come now into this corner where you can easily get caught out we hit the curb a little bit engine is looking a little warm power output will be less than optimal what is sebastian what, what i wonder why he did that he left us no space there and we you have to put the chicane all the time you have to leave the place okay that was a bit of a reckless dive bomb from sebastian it lost us a lot of time i don't know why he did that in a way but anyway i guess in hungary you have to be reckless so Fair play to him, it was a nice attempt, but in the end, it's a bit of a risk. You could easily get damaged from that, but good to see the AI uh, quite aggressive. But we have got DRS, which okay, is good to know. monitoring somewhere on the ICE. Be aware that we will start to see a loss of power. Be a loss of power. That's pretty tough. Remember Lewis Hamilton, guys, in the Mercedes car. If, you, if you've watched my career mode recently, He's been struggling just a little bit, guys, so... Guys, yeah, it's a very interesting one. He's in Q3 so now. He's a very strong so AI, AA car, and he's doing a great job up, in, up, it, up with the other cars, so it doesn't really make sense, because Red Bull are the fa third bestest, fastest team, yet were P10 and P13, I think, so... That's... Codemasters have got a lot of explaining to do over there. I don't really know why and some cars are faster than their other like Devon Butler in the Ferrari is in P9 right now whereas Lance Stroll is in like P15 so it's as though Devon Butler has significant speed advantage just in his car he has a faster car than him which doesn't really make any sense but anyway enough of me going on we really need to be in DRS zone here are we in DRS zone? No, we aren't. We've not really made any mistakes here, guys, but due to the acceleration of that Ferrari and everyone else. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Gap. As we go on to the final lap of the race. 2.0 seconds. Our teammate hasn't really been able to make up any ground. Let's go for a fastest lap here, guys. We're going to enable full beans and see if we can catch up to Devon, Devon Butler. Maybe as a penalty, who knows? But anyway. Coming down, P9 will be a good result for us overall. I think we've done a pretty good job this race, keeping behind the racing points and the Alfa Romeo. We come into the speediest section of the track here, guys. Butler is only 1.4 behind in front of us, so that's all okay. And we've got a fastest sector one by us here, which is good to know. So we come now into this section of the track, trying to make sure we don't get a warning, but we do cheese the corner a little bit, cheese that chicane. And we are gaining on Devon a little bit here. Any mistake from the from the young Ferrari man, we will be right through. So we better so we better watch out for anything. We're gonna come through this section of the track, trying to get the fastest lap possible. The gap's only seven cents now, so we've really gained on him in the end. I think it's been a strong performance from us. Can we get our fastest lap of the race? Kind of a bad exit there in the end, but in the end, can we get a fastest lap? Rich hot lap enabled. Stream. No, we don't. 0 0.021 Sorry off there. About that. I guess they can't all go to plan. Really, we'll go over what happened in the debrief. Nothing we could really do there. Even though we're the third best team, it doesn't make much sense. But anyway, I think we overperformed in the car there. Our teammate wasn't really able to challenge us, so I think we did a great job. We made the most of it. We just need to think about what we're really doing, Red Bull. I think we need to upgrade our car. Job by him. We did a good job in the end, I feel. So, yeah. I enjoyed that race. Lewis got P3 in the Mercedes. Let's see how well the standings have changed. Well, the gap at the top of the championship you know, has been it was, cut it down. Was a good performance from us all, but yeah. Let's focus on the driver of the Teammate, day. he's got a fast lap, but he did get DRS every lap, so that kind of explains it. After me pulling him along, but it is a shame, isn't it? 
P9, we still get some good points. P9 strolling, P15, whereas Devin Butler in the Ferrari is in P8, so it doesn't really make much sense, guys, but well done to the Hasses and the Mercedes. They've done a good job today. Let's see the standings, guys. Uh, Lando Norris still leading the way with Charles Leclerc in P2, and we're just kind of staying with them, but we're dropping back massively here, guys. With Devin Butler kind of keeping up with us, of course, he... He finished one place ahead of us, so that doesn't make much of a difference. With Giovinazzi in P5, but Tim said he's doing well as well. Constructor standings wise, we dropped Alfa Romeo. We didn't really have the pace in Hungary, I've just got to admit, to pure pace. Maybe we didn't drive as well as we would have done. Maybe just aggressive moves, but the, you can't, it's hard to overtake on a track like this. And We're still close in the constructor standings, but it's still all to play for, especially for P5 in the constructors here we're near Haas but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed that video stay tuned for more of this kind of content Lego with my sister that's cool um so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day goodbye